back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a very easy skater dress but also very stylish I'm actually making this for a friend of mine for a client but she's but I know her so for the entire uh, bottom part of the dress so the, the the circle piece we're going to be using two yards the lace itself is a half a yard because we just need it for the top part and the dress doesn't have any sleeve so you don't need that much and then uh, the lining itself is going to be two and a half yards because you're going to need a lining for the skirt and also half a yard for the uh, top part of the dress you're going to need a zipper and some um, machine thread pin scissors gonna need a simple t-shirt like we always do I always use trace I always trace on, on the regular uh, small t-shirt and I can order that to the size of the client and you're also going to need some pat pattern papers if you don't have so those are all the things you're going to need to make this dress okay guys so like we always do I just literally trace out the outline of the t-shirt I already went and placed the t-shirt on fold and it's placed on the pattern paper and this is exactly the piece that I needed. So I basically, the measurement of my client, I already added three inches to that. So this whole piece right now, I don't need to add any more seam allowance to it. So you make sure that your seam allowance are okay. So This is what you should have exactly what I wanted. I want the neck to be a bit wider, and this is the front piece. So, right now we can cut out the back piece. So, we're going to use the front piece to cut out the back piece. So, you're just going to trace it. can see those these are the pieces you're going to need so I already wrote cut on fold the front piece you're going to cut it on fold and this is the front piece and the back piece you can cut out two pieces and you're going to cut it on the main fabric as well as the lining so after if you've cut you should have something like this so remember you also make sure you cut this on your lining fabric so now we're going to sew you're going to put right sides together right sides together and you're gonna go ahead and sew it on the shoulders sew it on the shoulders repeat the same step for the back uh, sorry for the lining as well <music> ahead and sew the shoulder and I've also went ahead and iron it flat so you want to go ahead and iron yours flat as well and also repeat the same step for the main fabric so at this point we're going to be adding like a, a belt to the back of the dress so you want to go ahead and prepare the piece for your belt my piece is very um, the width is um, four inches folded when it's folded it's two inches so it's four inches wide by 40 inches long I'm going to cut it like cut it in half so I'm gonna have 20 inches on both sides okay, so these are the belts already prepared so now we can work on attaching the lining to the bodice basically guys we're going to pin in this entire pieces together. So you're going to start from the shoulder, pin it there. You can see, I have pinned the entire from the back all the way from the back there the neckline 
and also the armhole everything in place so now we're going to place the the belt remember we want the belt so it's the belt's gonna be right under here because this is the back piece right under here and you can pin that in place so you can sew the belt in place while you're like sewing the lining and the main fabric if that makes sense really super easy so you can repeat the same step for the other side <music> tile piece so for it to be easy for it to lie flat when you turn it inside out you want to go ahead and snip the entire piece so make sure you're not cutting the thread you just want to snip it take your time <laughs> ahead and snip the whole entire piece so now you can like easily spread them and now you just want to go ahead and turn it inside out what you should have after you've properly ironed it and this is it from the back as you can see I already went ahead and kind of tied the belt already so this is what it should look from the back I'm really really satisfied only this this piece was a little bit the lining was a little bit too wide so I have to pleat it a little bit here but it's all good so now I'm going to show you guys how to close the side seam super easy all you want to do is you want to flip this together flip it and then you should have right sides facing each other like so and then you're just going to pin it and then you just want to go ahead and sew it from there to there and repeat the same step for the other side that is how you attach a lining to a bodice professionally look how cute the inside look this is how the inside look and this is how the outside look so yep so right now we're going to cut the to put the water so the fabric dummy. We're gonna cut the circle piece. Super easy how to calculate a circle piece. This is the easiest way it has worked for me several times. Is you're just going to measure around your waist. You're going to add as much seam allowance you want. Normally two to three inches seam allowance are normally enough. And then you're gonna divide that number by six point. 28 so you always divide that circumference of your waist with 6.28 and then it's going to give you the amount of the piece you need to cut out so i already did that for my and mine is 5.4 so you've done that you want to determine the length of the skirt my length is going to be 23 you can make your length longer or shorter and then you're just going to mark 23 all the way around and that's going to determine the length of your skirt so this is what you should have after you've cut in after you're done cutting so you can see this is the entire circle piece and I also went ahead and repeat the same for the lining fabric as we cut it open make sure you cut in one layer when you're cutting this so you're going to cut it at the middle to create the zipper thinny, just a straight seam. Yeah, and 
make sure to repeat the same step for the lining piece as well okay so the next step is you want to prep the bottom part of the dress and then you already want to at this point hem it so I'm just going to pin that in place seriously this is why I hate making skater pieces because just the hemming take forever to pin but the finished look looks amazing so you just have to do it take your time and make sure that you are like pinning it very small and not too wide so I'm going to go pin the entire piece and then I'll go sew it and I'll also repeat the same step for the lining as well the skirt piece is um, already hemmed I use a zigzag stitch because the fabric intends to fray so this is it from the inside and this is it from the outside okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm pinning the skirt piece to the top piece it's basically just mashing right sides together and you're going to pin the main fabric to the main fabric and pin the lining to the lining so I already went ahead and pin the main fabric in place and as you can see the lining is still like not pinned yet so what I've done is I'm going to pin the lining in place look at what I'm doing right sides facing each other I'm just going to start pinning that in place. It might look a bit confusing, but I already went ahead and pinned the lining to the lining and the main fabric to the main fabric. And I'm just going to go and sew it the entire piece all the way around and the lining. Um, and then the bottom part of the dress and the lining is attached. You're going to see. So the lining is sewn, and then you just want to flip everything back. So this is it. This is what you should have at this point, and this is it from the outside as well kind of poofy right now so you can go ahead and give it a proper ironing and then I'm gonna go do that and I'll come back to show you guys out at the zipper so right now we're gonna work on the zipper so I'm just determining determine how the length of my zipper and it's basically to here that's there so I'm putting my pin here so I'm going to go ahead and so close this piece leaving this part open for the zipper so right now I'm just folding the zipper in place Right now I just want to go ahead and sew it from there all the way till there. Okay guys, so after sewing your zipper, you should have something like this. Okay. 